My garden was a graveyard, truly lifeless. The soil was hard, cracked, and gray. Nothing I planted survived. I tried compost, peat moss, and miracle fertilizers. Nothing worked. It felt like gardening on concrete. No beetles, no worms, just dust. Frustrated, I scrolled through soil science forums and found a strange idea. Instead of adding more, it was about waking up what was already there. The theory. A simple liquid could signal dormant life in the soil to wake up. Skeptical but desperate, I mixed the three-ingredient solution. I poured it over my dead garden bed, covered it with old wood chips, and walked away. I expected nothing. It was just another failed experiment. Or so I thought. Three days later, I noticed the soil looked darker and softer. I pushed my trowel in. It slid easily. I scooped up earth and was stunned. Dozens of earthworms wriggled in the rich soil. In 72 hours, a simple liquid had transformed my garden graveyard into a thriving ecosystem. The change was dramatic. Life had returned. It wasn't magic. It was biology, finally awakened. I realized the solution didn't add life. It jump-started what was already there. The soil was alive again, and so was my hope for the garden. This was the turning point that changed everything I thought I knew about gardening. Sometimes the answer isn't more stuff, it's the right signal at the right time. My garden's revival started with a simple experiment and a willingness to try something new. The lesson, don't give up on your soil. Sometimes it just needs a wake-up call. That day, I learned that even the deadest garden can come back to life. And it all began with a simple homemade liquid. The transformation was real and it was just the beginning. If it worked for my garden, it can work for yours. The secret is already in your soil, waiting to be awakened. All you have to do is give it the signal. Most gardeners think adding more, fertilizer, compost, amendments, is the answer. But we often ignore the real engine soil life. Chemical fertilizers and pesticides don't just target pests, they wipe out beneficial microbes and fungi. Overtilling shatters the soil's natural structure, destroying fungal networks and worm tunnels. The result? Compacted, lifeless soil that can't hold water or nutrients. Plants struggle, no matter how much you feed them. The natural nutrient cycle breaks down, and the soil starves. Fertilizer alone can't fix this. Plants need the soil food web to access nutrients. That's why so many gardens fail despite following all the right advice. The real problem is dead soil, not bad plants. To fix it, we need to revive the underground ecosystem. Not just add more stuff. The solution isn't in a bag, it's in bringing the soil back to life. Restart the engine and the worms and microbes will return. Healthy soil is the foundation of a thriving garden. It's time to focus on life below the surface. I used to think worms came for kitchen scraps and compost, but worms want more than food. They want a living, thriving ecosystem. Their real diet? Microbes, bacteria and fungi breaking down organic matter. No microbes, no worms. It's that simple. Research shows earthworm populations explode in microbe-rich soils. Microbes send out chemical signals, an underground dinner bell for worms. When bacteria and fungi multiply, worms follow. A dry pile of wood chips is ignored. But after rain and microbial growth, it's worm paradise. The challenge isn't feeding worms directly, it's waking up dormant microbes. Microbes can survive for years, waiting for the right conditions. They need moisture and a quick energy source to spring to life. Once active, they transform the soil, improve structure, and invite worms in. The secret? Activate the microbes and the worms will come. It's not about adding more food, it's about jumpstarting the soil's natural cycle. When the underground world wakes up, everything changes. That's the real key to a living garden. The solution isn't magic. It's a microbial stimulant. Its job, give dormant bacteria and fungi a massive energy boost. You're not adding new microbes, just waking up the ones already in your soil. The recipe is simple. Dechlorinated water, unsulfured blackstrap molasses, and a splash of unpasteurized apple cider vinegar. Water provides moisture, molasses is instant energy, and minerals. Vinegar adds a catalyst and beneficial microbes. 
Mix 2 gallons of water, 2 tablespoons of molasses, and a tablespoon of vinegar. Stir until dissolved. That's it! Your microbial stimulant is ready. No fancy ingredients, no compost tea, just a quick, powerful jumpstart. This mix wakes up your soil's native life, fast. It's simple, cheap, and incredibly effective. Sometimes the best solutions are the easiest. Pour the liquid on your soil, and a chain reaction begins. In 24 hours, water and sugar reach dormant microbes, waking them up. Bacteria multiply rapidly, transforming the soil from within. By 48 hours, fungi join in, weaving hyphae and building soil structure. The ground becomes fluffier, more porous, ready for life. By 72 hours, the explosion of microbes sends a signal, worms arrive, tunneling up to the surface. You're not forcing change, you're reactivating what's already there. The soil's natural system flips back on and life returns. No need for heavy digging or endless compost. The microbes and worms do the work. It's restoration, not reconstruction. In three days, your soil can come alive again. Timing is everything. Apply the solution in the evening or early morning. Avoid hot, sunny hours. Heat and UV kill microbes and evaporate water. If soil is bone dry, pre-water lightly an hour before applying the mix. Use a watering can with a sprinkler head for even coverage. One thorough application is enough. Don't overdo it. For a four or eight bed, two gallons covers it. After pouring, immediately cover the area with 1-2 inches of organic mulch. Wood chips leave straw or grass clippings. Mulch locks in moisture, shades the soil, and creates the perfect environment for microbes and worms. Don't dig or disturb, just wait. The underground miracle will unfold on its own. This is a one-time jumpstart, not a weekly routine. Let nature take over from here. Don't overdo the sugar. Too much molasses causes a microbial bloom that depletes oxygen, suffocating worms. Always use dechlorinated water. Chlorine kills microbes. Never use water from a softener. Salts harm soil life. Apply only during cool hours. Heat and sun destroy microbes and attract pests. Be patient. Don't reapply the solution too soon. The goal is to wake up the system, not create a sugar-dependent ecosystem. One application, then let the natural cycle take over. After revival, your job is to keep the soil covered with organic mulch, always. Mulch protects, feeds, and sustains the underground workforce. Use a mix, wood chips, leaves, straw, grass clippings. Diversity feeds more microbes and worms, building rich, stable humus. Worm castings, nature's perfect fertilizer, will appear as a sign of health. No need for synthetic fertilizers, worms do the work for free. Commit to a no-dig approach. Don't destroy the delicate underground networks. Add compost and mulch to the surface each season. The worms and microbes will incorporate it for you. Healthy soil grows more resilient and alive every year. We've been taught to dig and till, but real soil health comes from biology, not brute force. This method restores soil from within using a simple biological stimulant. The worms and microbes do the tilling for you, better than any shovel. Compost alone can't revive dead soil. You need to wake up the native life first. The stimulant is the ignition. Compost is the fuel. Anyone can do this. No fancy tools or expensive amendments needed. It's about reviving what's already there, not starting from scratch. Healthy soil is a living thing, waiting to be awakened. If your garden is lifeless, don't despair. Try this experiment. Mix, pour, cover, and wait. In 72 hours, you could see a transformation. You're not just growing plants, you're awakening an entire world. The secret to a thriving garden is already beneath your feet.